Hey my loves, welcome to another episode of my Dinner Made Easy series. This series is all about inspiring you with simple weeknight dinner ideas that are both nutritious and delicious. And today's recipes are all tasty fish recipes. A lot of you have been asking in the comments for more fish recipe ideas, so I've got three amazing ones for you. Just before I get to that, I do want to mention that we have launched our brand new Dinner Live series. This is exactly what it sounds like. Basically, we are doing live dinners every week here on YouTube. You can check out my Instagram or my Snapchat for all of the details on that. Now, without further ado, let's get to the first menu of the day. We are making some tortilla crusted fish sticks. Now these aren't the fish sticks you remember as a kid. They're really flavorful, they're really crispy, and they're made with tortilla chips instead of traditional breadcrumbs. For this recipe, I'm using some tilapia that I've just cut in half, but you could really use any firm white fish you wanted to. Now for the breading process, I am creating what I call a dredging station. So I've got my flour here, and then I've got two eggs. I'm just going to give the eggs a beat. And I've also got my tortilla chips that I've just crushed up. You can do this either by popping them in a zipper bag and banging on them with a rolling pin, or running them quickly through your food processor. Both of those things will work just as well. Now to give these fish sticks some extra flavor, I'm actually going to be seasoning up my flour with some smoked paprika, I've got some ground cumin, some garlic powder, some red chili flakes for a little bit of heat, and I'm going to be zesting up one lime. Lime zest just packs such a tasty punch. It adds so much flavor to these recipes, I can't even tell you. I'm also going to be seasoning up my flour with some salt and some pepper. I'm going to stir that all together and then I'm just going to put my fish through my flour mixture, my egg mixture, and my tortilla mixture, and it's really as simple as that. I'm going to lay these beauties out on a parchment lined baking sheet and bake them in the oven at 375 for between 12 and 15 minutes or until they're nice and golden and crispy. I like to flip them once during the cooking process to make sure they brown evenly on both sides, and there you have it, uber simple, uber tasty. Now, if you thought those fish sticks were easy, wait until you get a load of my maple Dijon salmon. This is one of my absolute go-to dinner ideas on a busy weeknight because it comes together in a snap. I'm starting with four gorgeous salmon fillets and I'm just going to mix up a little marinade for them. I've got some maple syrup, some Dijon mustard, a little bit of minced garlic, and some salt and pepper. It's really as simple as that. And then I'm just gonna transfer these gorgeous salmon fillets into a zipper bag. I like using a zipper bag for this because I think it helps me get better coverage and make sure that all of this marinade is all over the salmon. We're just gonna zhuzh our salmon in the marinade. We're gonna refrigerate it for 15 or 20 minutes. You could easily do this the night before and then these would be ready for baking when you got home from work. It would totally be worth the effort. Once that marinade has had a chance to soak in, we're just going to arrange these on a parchment lined baking sheet because who needs more dishes on a weeknight? Not me. Now you cannot save this marinade for later, so I highly recommend you just cover each piece as best you can and then discard what's left over. And then we're just going to bake these at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for between 10 and 12 minutes or until the salmon is cooked to your liking. This salmon is one of the easiest weeknight meals you can pull together and you can feel really, really good about it. What is not to love about that? Now, if you are feeling a little more on the gourmet side, I highly recommend you try my Cajun Mahi Mahi with mango salsa. Sounds really fancy, but I assure you, it is so easy to put together. If you can't get your hands on mahi-mahi, not to worry, you could go ahead and use any firm white fish for this recipe. You could use some cod, some sole, or just for the halibut, go ahead and use some halibut. Okay, I'm sorry. We worked really hard on that one. Now for this recipe, I am using a simple Cajun spice. You can buy the store-bought kind if you want to, or if you want to make your own, go ahead and click on this thumbnail because I have a delicious recipe for homemade Cajun spice that I think you might love. I'll also leave it in the description box below. I'm just going to season up both sides of my mahi-mahi, and then I've got a skillet heating up over medium heat on my stove. I'm just going to pour in a little bit of oil because we don't want our fish to stick. 
and I'm gonna pan fry it on each side for three or four minutes or until it's cooked through. And don't leave any of that goodness behind. Just drop that Cajun spice right on. In the meantime, while that deliciousness is cooking away, I'm going to get started on mixing up my mango salsa. This is really simple, but really flavorful. So it all starts with some nice ripe mango. To that, I'm going to add some diced red onion. I've got some minced jalapeno, some finely chopped cilantro. Then we are going to add the zest of a lime and the juice of a lime. Zest first, juice later. Trust me, you don't wanna go the other way. We're gonna stir it all together, and then once our mahi-mahi comes out of the pan, we are going to top it with this tasty mango salsa, and mahi-mahi, that looks delicious, doesn't it? Guys, I really hope you will give these three tasty recipes a try. If you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Snapchat me a photo, because of course I love seeing your kitchen creations. Keep in mind that I've got more great dinner recipes coming at you over the next few weeks as part of my Dinner Made Easy series, and that I'm also launching my brand new series, Dinner Live, which is when we can all cook together. The details on that are available on Instagram and Snapchat, so you can follow me there. Finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more dinner deliciousness where this came from.